How do you test for phosphates in swimming pool water? Well, this isn't a standard test that would be done when you bring your water to a water lab unless you request it. And if you have an at-home test kit, you probably don't have a test kit for phosphates. Phosphates are a specific test kit that you would have to purchase for specifically for this application. If you're worried that you have phosphates in your water or if you're having trouble maintaining clean, clear water and you're having trouble maintaining your chlorine levels despite everything else being in the right ranges, it could be that phosphates is the cause for this. This is a pretty common problem with swimming pools nowadays. Essentially phosphates are acting like a all-you-can-eat buffet for the bacteria in your pool and as a result the bacteria grows very quickly, faster than the chlorine can kill it. So if you have phosphates in your pool above 500 parts per billion, not parts per million, but 500 parts per billion, then they will start to be a problem for your pool. Um, most saltwater systems can no longer overcome the, the rate of bacteria growth once the, the phosphates reach a level of 2,000 parts per billion. Uh, so if you suspect that you have a problem with your water that you uh, can't seem to attribute to any other reason, bring your water into a water lab and have the phosphates tested, or you can buy a phosphate test kit online and test the water yourself to see what your levels are. If you do have phosphates in your pool, the only way to get rid of them is a phosphate remover that you can get from a pool and supply store or you can order online. If this information was helpful to you, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.